Hi, this is Tara and thank you so much for visiting here. Today I have a 30 minute full body resistance band workout for you and all you need is one of these. They are amazing for your resistance training. So let's get started. We're gonna have a great workout today and please remember if you have a good time to like and subscribe. Have your band just over your knees, feet hip distance apart, rock forward and backwards on your toes and heels. Let's have an amazing class today. Start to open up your arms, big circles, full range of movement here. Release your shoulders. Now take it forwards. Inhaling, exhaling, and then prepare yourself to sit down into your squat. So take those hips right back. Abdominals are strong. Open your collarbones wide. Bring your hands together. This will be your last big squat. Now hold it down and smaller pulses. Get down deep into the movement. You'll feel this on your inner and outer thighs and of course in your glutes. All right, this will be your last four, three, two, one. Then step out with your left leg to the side and then your right leg. So alternating the movement and keeping it down low. Work against that resistance band. It is there to give you that challenge. Keep repeating this. I want you to feel the burn. You made the effort to switch this video on, so I really want you to make the most of it. Get ready for your last three, two, and one, and hold in the center. Go back to those squats. You've got four, three, two, one. Step out your left leg to the side, bring it back. So sticking to that one side now. That's it, you've got four more. Last one, now go to squat and lift up your leg. So squat, lift up that left leg, stretch open your arms. Now you're gonna feel this burning around the outside of your thigh. As you come up and kick that leg, keep the shoulders over your hips. On the next one, hold it and now just lift the leg. Keep the hips level. Feel the work on the outside of your thigh and your glutes. And also your supporting leg is really gonna feel this as well. Last two and one. Now pulse for three in your squat and then lift the leg up. So three, two, one, and then stretch and lift. Again, three, two, one, lift. You've got this, good. Get down as low as you can and get that leg high. This will be your last one. Now reverse it. So lift the leg for three times and then sit right down. Three, two, one, sit down low. That's it, well done. Good, one more time. You're smashing this. All right, now stay here. Keep these squats deep and active. Bend those knees. Now hold it down and wrap back against the band. You'll feel this on the outside of your thighs. Now start to travel up for four and then come down for four. That's it, coming all the way up. Keep wrapping back. Keep squeezing the glutes outside of your thighs. Feel where the work is. Now work even harder. Make the movement as big as you can against that band. Okay, so this is gonna be your last time up and down. Now prepare yourself to do everything on your right leg. So step it out to the side and bring it back. So again, keeping it down low. You know what's coming now, so stay focused and let's make this even better than the other side. Last three, two, and one. Now go that squat and then lift the leg to the side. Stretch open the arms. Lift your leg high and work against that resistance. I hope that your band is a strong one and that you're working really hard. Now hold your leg up and lift and pulse. That's it, you've got this. Come on, working as hard as you can. Go against that band. Okay, moving now through the last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Then three, two, one, and then lift your leg. So squat, two, three, lift the leg up high. Get down as low as you can on those squats and then lift the leg high. This will be your last one. Now hold and reverse. So three, two, one, and sit down. Yes, you've got this. Fantastic, come on. You have two more sets to go. 
Ready? This is your last one. Make it your best and hold. Okay, keeping those squats for four, three, two, one. Now touching the floor and then rise up high onto your toes. Move with energy and enthusiasm. Using your full range of movement and working your thighs and your butt. This is your last one and then squat lift your left leg and squat lift your right leg so alternating from side to side. I want you to feel that burn in your muscles. You're going to be so proud of yourself when you finish this workout and you're going to feel fantastic. Keep exhaling on the exertion. This will help you work out to your max. All right, we're coming up to the last three, two, and one. Go back to your squats. All right, prepare yourself. You're gonna step back on the left leg and then the right. So alternating that movement. You're gonna feel the work kit in the quads, hamstrings, and glutes all together. Wow, what a full body workout today. Stay focused, concentrate, and you're gonna get great results. Keep working within your full range of movement. Press against that band and challenge yourself. All right, this is gonna be your last four, three, two. Now hold it back on that left leg and keep pressing back on that left leg. That's it, just that one leg. Good. You're gonna to start to feel a burn on the supporting leg. Now hold, open up the arms, find your balance and just press that leg back. You will feel your hamstrings and glutes on the leg that you're using, but you will also feel a burn on your supporting leg as well. Be mindful of your alignment here. Standing with a good posture and finding your balance. Keep control. Okay, last five, four, three, two, one, and bring your legs together and then open up to the side. So notice when you lift your left leg, your hips stay the same level. So I'm not hiking the hip up. All the power is coming from the outside of the thighs and the glutes. Now pulse that, you have a shorter range of movement and a quicker tempo. All right, so take the leg down and let's do this on the other side. So taking your right leg back. So exactly the same thing, we're gonna do it on the other side. Come on, dig deep and find that energy. All right, you're gonna to start to hold that leg back and then lift up and back. Use your glutes, the hamstrings, and keep the foot flexed. Stretch open your arms, this will help your balance. All right, last two and one, bring it back and out to the side. Start with your full range of movement, pressing and lifting up. Come on, I'm with you, stretch that band. You've got two more slow, Last one, and now go with those pulses. Come on, you're smashing this. You're doing a great job today. You're probably going to feel this way more in your supporting leg than the leg that you're using. And that's because those stabilizer muscles are working very hard to keep you supported there. All right, as you're squatting there, get ready for your next exercise. You're going to open up your arms, and then from here, bring the knees up towards your chest. This is a wonderful standing abdominal exercise. That's it, lots of energy. Use your exhale every time you bring the knee up. Okay, now move into a jack. If you don't want to do the jumping, that's okay. Just step side to side. But if you can add some jumps in, go for it. This will get your heart rate up, boost metabolism, burn some calories, and of course, get those endorphins going. Okay, turn to the side into a lunge. You see my back knee is underneath my hip and my front knee is over my ankle. Be regal with your posture. Your shoulders are over your hips. And now hold that lunge down and start to wrap back your thighs against that band. So that front knee is going open and the back knee is going open. You're pressing and pressing. Now this is a real burn. I love it. I um, hope you're enjoying it too. <laughs> Learn to love your exercise. I know it's not easy to get in the mood, but once you're in this, it feels so good. Stay with it for another four, three, two, one, and release. Turn back to the front. 
Have your knees wide than your shoulders and your feet are turned out. Get down low and then wrap back. Can you see I'm pressing against that band? I'm using the outside of my thighs and my glutes to control this movement. It looks like it's coming from the knees, but it's not. You'll be feeling this right through the glute medius, outside of your thighs, and it should burn. All right, let's turn and lunge in the other direction. So get that back knee low down to the floor, shoulders over your hips, keep the collarbones wide and lift through the crown of your head. Eye gaze is forwards. Now hold it here and wrap back against the band. Can you make it a little bigger each time? Go on, press against that band, use that resistance. Work those thighs. I know it's hard, but it's these exercises that really give us results. These movements might be small, but they are doing a really big job. All right, sit your legs together and take off that band. Get ready to work your arms and your chest. So take that band, hold on to it, sit your legs wide, move back into that lunge position, and then open up into your sumo squat. So lunge and then turn out. You're stretching that band like a bow and arrow across the chest. So you're strengthening into your arms, chest, and of course your legs. Every time you do this, see if you can work a bit deeper into the movement. We've got many reps here, so you can really feel that muscle fatigue. All right, moving through your last four, three, two, and last one. Take the hands behind you and slip the band on so it's just over your wrists. Press against the band as you sink down deep into your sumo squat. As you can see here, my shoulders are in front of my hips. My collarbones are wide. Bend those knees deeply and have the knees tracking over your ankles. As you press against the band, you'll feel this working through your arms. Bring your attention to where you are right now. Enjoy these exercises. Make the most of your time. We can't get this time back, so let's use it wisely. Last two and one, and let's go with our bow and arrow on the other side. So come through to that lunge and then open. Lunge and open. Taking and stretching that band across the chest. Peel the shoulders open, widen the collarbones. Feel your back and chest working together to stretch that band. Feel powerful and in control of your movements. Think about your whole body, from your toes to the crown of your head. Make sure you're in good form and alignment. Get ready for your last three, two, and one. Yes, all right. So let's get down, take the band just over your wrists, do it in a plank position, and now take your hands out to the side. So you're just tapping your hand to the right and then to the left. As much as you can, keep the rest of the body strong and stable. This is a very challenging exercise. You need a lot of power to work against that band. Okay, bring your knees down and then swing your legs around. Set yourself up so you're seated, your knees are bent. So hold the band with both hands, keep the elbows close to the body and then twist and look back. So using your arms, obliques and back muscles in this exercise. The rest of the body stays strong and stable. Each time, see if you can get a little bit more rotation round. Use your exhale as you twist to help you get deeper into this movement. I want you to stretch that band so much that you feel that you could rip it. Okay, come on, work your hardest for your last four, three, two, just got one more to go and then we're complete. Now take that band over your feet and lie on your back. See how my feet are flexed? Take the hands behind your head, support the back of the head, and then bicycle your legs out and take opposite elbow to opposite knee. Exhale on the twist. We're about halfway through the class. 
keep moving with your full energy, full power, full focus. Just be mindful that your pelvis stays stable throughout the exercise and that you're not pulling on the back of your head. The hands are just there to support you. All right, we are almost there. Give me your best for the last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, you were incredible. Well done. Pull that band up over your knees. Keep your feet hip distance apart, lift your hips and your arms up towards the ceiling, palms facing in. Now pulse for your contracting your glutes, pushing your pubic bone upwards. So all the work here is into your glutes and your hamstrings. Just be mindful that your collarbones are wide. And now press your thighs against the band, so you're wrapping back. So you're gonna notice this on the outside of your thighs and your glute medius. Keep the hips high. Just make sure your pelvis stays level so you haven't got one side dipping more than the other. Also feel that your abdominals and your lower back are working together to support that movement. Okay, we're almost there. Doing your best for the last four, three, two, and one. Take your hips down and roll yourself up coming onto all fours, just keeping the band in exactly the same position. All right, so I'm extending my left leg out behind me and then just lifting and tapping down. You'll feel this through your glutes and your hamstrings. Just keep the rest of the body strong and supported there. So think about where your shoulders are, your back is flat. Now go with those pulses. So hold that leg up, keep the foot flexed and you're pulsing. Come on, let's make this happen. Work as hard as you can. Press against that band. Now take it across so you feel the inner thighs and then outer thighs. Inner and outer thighs. So I'm taking my left leg over to the right side. Okay, so this is your last one. Then bend from the knee and push your flexed foot up towards the ceiling. So you'll feel this right through your glute max and your hamstrings. Keep the hips level. Feel that burn. So moving on to work abdominals and hamstrings. So you go exhale, squeeze, and then press back. So abs and then glutes. Notice how I point my toes on the way in and then flex on the way back. Let's go a little faster. So look at your knee as you bring it through. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Lots of energy with this. Okay, last one and two. Bring your knees back in line and then lift your leg out to the side. Your range of movement will be pretty small here and that's okay because you're going to feel a strong burn in the outside of your thighs and your glute medius. Hold it up and pulse, press. So smaller range of movement. I hope you're enjoying this. I'm definitely having a good time here. All right, let's take that leg round in a circle. So you're taking the knee forwards and then all the way back. Make that movement as big as you can, but without losing control of your pelvis. You're keeping your hips level. You will feel this all the way through the outsides of your thighs and your glutes and change direction. Remember, if you want to get results, put that work in. Know what you're aiming for. Know where you're going and what you want. Hook your toes under and lift your hips up halfway between a down dog and all fours. So the hips are right up in the air. Now press your thighs against that band. Just be mindful that your shoulders feel supported. Feel that your center is lifted. So let's make this happen. Go for the burn. Keep pressing those thighs out to the sides, wrap back. Last two and one, come forward into your plank and plank jack. So jumping your legs out to the side. Getting the heart rate up, getting that energy flowing in the body. I love to mix some cardio with my strength work. I find it gets great results. Okay, come onto your side. 
and set yourself up so you are supporting your head. Your bottom leg is bent and that top leg will just lift up and down. Keeping your hips stacked on top of each other and feel a lift through your obliques so you're not just sagging into the mat. You have a lift in the side body. Now pulse, so smaller range of movement with those leg lifts. Feel this on the outside of your thighs and then bring the knee forward so it comes in line with your hip. So you're bending the knee 90 degrees. You've got three, two, one, and then hold it and pulse. So remember from the outside, you're making this look really easy because you're moving smoothly and gracefully, but on the inside, you're working so hard. So extend the leg forwards and bicycle the leg around. Making sure you stretch that leg, full range of movement there. That's it, you've got two more. Now reverse it, so extend it forward and then bend. I know this is getting tiring. Use your breath, dig deep. Remember you're working for that prize for a strong, firm body. Just two more to go. And now from here, bring that knee forwards and then internally rotate and then kick the leg up to the ceiling. So internally rotate the knee and then kick the leg up, straighten the leg. You're gonna notice this right on the top of your thigh. Wow, it is a strong exercise. I love it. Okay, count with me. You got four more to go. Four and three and two and one, you did it. Let's come onto our backs. So bring your feet to the edges of the mat nice and wide, lift your hips up and press your thighs against the band. So you will see your knees opening up to the side, but the movement is coming because you're contracting through the outside of the thighs and the glutes. Keep the hips level. So notice how your glutes and hamstrings are working here to support the pelvis up in the air. And with the legs being wide, you'll feel it even more on the outside of your thighs. We've finished with the exercise, so roll up and get up onto all fours. Let's do everything on the other side. So now I have my right leg and I'm lifting that up. So let's make this side even better than the other. Concentrate, you know what's coming now. So think about how you're holding yourself. Let's go with those pulses. Keeping the back lovely and flat. Neck is long. Making it look easy, even if you're tired inside. Okay, now take that leg across. So inner and outer thighs are working here. Remember, you're keeping the upper body as still as you can. So no twisting with the upper body. Just taking it across. Okay, you've got this. Now bend the knee and push that heel up towards the ceiling. Feeling your hamstrings in action here. Remember, a strong focused mind gives you results with your body. Prepare yourself now for the next exercise. Bring the knee in and then flex your foot. So abs and glutes. So exhale, a little curve in your back and then push up towards the ceiling. Exhale, inhale, press up. Now a little faster. Look at the knee as you bring it through and then flatten the back as you push up. We're going for our last three, two, keep control. And one, now bring the knees back in line and lift to the side. Now you will also start to feel that burn on the supporting leg. <laughs> it really is challenging for that stabilizing leg. Okay, hold it up and pulse. Not long to go, come on, stick with it. We are very close to finishing this now. Four, three, two, one, and move around in your circles, taking the knee forward and then back. Making that circle as big as you can, take it all the way around. Three, two, one, get ready to change direction. 
Make sure the rest of the body is stable and supporting you in this exercise. Show me your best now for the last three, two, and one. You did it. Okay, lifting up. Remember that position halfway between down dog and all fours, pressing your thighs against that band. Second time round. You're only in competition with yourself. Let's make this better than last time. Open those legs a little wider. And engage into your back muscles to keep your shoulders down away from your ears. Your neck is long. Okay, keep holding that strong. You've got four, three, two, and one. And then coming forward into your plank, moving with those jacks. Energy, energy, energy. That's it. Getting your heart rate up, burning calories, and boosting your metabolism for the rest of the day. Last two and one, and then coming down onto your side. So I'm on my left side, but if you're mirroring me, you're most likely to be on your right. Okay, just make sure it's the other side from last time. Lift that leg up and down, full range of movement here. The bottom knee is bent, your hips are stacked on top of each other, and your hand is supporting your head. You're looking like a supermodel. Now pulse and press. So smaller range of movement. You've got this. Keep up that energy and enthusiasm. Now bring that knee in so it's in line with your hip. You know what's coming. You know it's gonna work you hard, but you know that it's so good for you. Shorten your range of movement. Small pulses here. That's it. Looking fantastic. Now extend with that bicycle. So keeping the foot flexed. Make that bicycle big. You're cycling all the way down the road with that bicycle. That's it. Executing this clearly and concisely for your last two and one. And let's cycle back the other way. So reversing that movement. Get into the zone. Let this be like a little meditation. So you're just in that flow. You're thinking about all the muscles you're using. Your mind is totally connected to your body. You're in the moment. Now bring your leg forward and then tap the knee down towards the floor and kick the leg up. So you're in that internal rotation and then stretch the leg up towards the ceiling. This is one of my favorite exercises because, wow, you can really feel this. And I love to feel my muscles working. I enjoy that burn. I hope you're enjoying it too. But isn't it great to feel like you've done a strong workout? You've got three and two and one. You're finished. So take that band just over your ankles and lie on your front. Make a pillow with your hands and look down towards the floor and start to lift your right leg up, lifting your thigh up off the mat. Keep that leg straight so you'll feel the work in your hamstrings and your glutes. Now you won't get a very big range of movement and that's fine, but do your best. Lift the leg up as high as you can and see if you can lift your quads up off the mat. Keeping your glutes squeezing as you lift change over other side as you're lifting your leg keep the rest of the body firm and stable so glutes are engaged abs are recruited and just be mindful that the work is in the lower leg the upper body stays still last two and one and now take both the legs up off the floor and then open up so you're feeling the work on the outside of your legs as you press against that band Get those legs as wide as you can. Keep lifting the thighs up off the mat. Keep the legs straight. Lots of reps here so you can feel that fire through your thighs and glutes. Last three, two, one, release, let go. Stretch your arms out in front and then lift the arms and legs up off the floor. So exhale as you lift. Noticing the work in your upper back, glutes and hamstrings and the stretch through the front of the body. Last one, and then the next one, hold yourself up and then press your legs against the band. 
keep that lift, keep the chest coming up off the floor, reach his arms forward, lengthen the back of the neck. Now release, swing yourself around. I'm just gonna adjust my band, it's irritating the bottom of my leg. <laughs> but keep the band over the ankles and swing your legs so you come into a seated position and then make your way down to lying on your back, lift your legs up in the air. Take your hands behind your head and lift your upper back and shoulders off the floor and then open, close, open your legs, bring them back down. So open, close, open, close, take them all the way up. Open, close, open, close, take them down. Feel the abdominals here, press against that band, good, bring it back. Inhale, exhale and release. Find yourself just floating in the air there. Use the strength of your core. Keep looking in between your legs. We're so close to the end of the class now. Show me what you've got. Give it your all. Doing your best to the very end. So this will be your last two. And one. Now release the head down to the mat. Keep the legs up in the air and crisscross your legs over for four down and then travel all the way back up. So going down for four and up for four. Just be mindful that you're not over straining and over arching into your lower back. Keep control through the pelvis and press against that band. So stretching the legs out wide against the band. Noticing the work in the legs and your abdominals. And now hold your legs at the lowest position you can without straining and just keeping it there, crisscrossing them for the final burn. This would be your last exercise before we go into our stretches. You've got this, come on, keep that strong. Last three, two, one, and release. Okay, we have finished. I hope that you're feeling good. Just take that band off and hook the band onto the bottom of your foot. Extend the leg up to the ceiling. Stretch your hamstrings. So keep pressing your heel away from you and then cross the leg over for your figure of four stretch. Bring the legs close to the body, releasing your glutes and your hips. All right, so let's change over to the other side. So hook it on your foot and extend your leg up to the ceiling, stretching your hamstrings. Should feel amazing after all that strong work we've done today. And then take it across for your figure of awe and noticing the release in your hips and your glutes. I love this stretch. Let your breath relax and just send your breath to any tight areas. Remember your stretches are so important that we don't get injuries. Okay, roll yourself up, come onto all fours and just wiggle your hips and let that undulation go up into your shoulders and then change direction. Don't be shy, get all loose in the body and then snake yourself through lying on your front grab hold of your foot to bring it towards your buttocks contract your glutes to stretch through the front of the thighs and then change over grab hold of the opposite foot find that stretch through the quads inhale exhale and release press up into a cobra to stretch the front of the body which should feel great after those sit-ups we did at the end of the class and a child's pose just to stretch the lower back and then interlace your fingers and open up through your shoulders. Let's come up onto all fours, hook your toes under, lift your hips up and walk your hands gradually back towards your feet. Just stay in that forward fold, let your neck release and then roll up, restacking the body and we have finished, well done. Thank you for working so hard today. If you enjoyed this class, please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. I'm also live streaming a whole variety of classes to your home. If you're interested, get in contact via my website.